Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an instant pickle. I'm going to be using the laws of physics to create pickles instantly. No more waiting days or even weeks to eat your pickles. Just grab your cucumbers and a vacuum chamber and you can make them right away. Okay, so I have here some dill pickle brine vinegar solution. So this is what I'm going to use to make my pickles. So I just stick this in my vacuum chamber and then I'm going to stick just my regular cucumbers in here. So I've just sliced up some cucumbers I'm going to put them in here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on my vacuum pump. Now watch what happens to these cucumbers in here. Three, two, one. So you can see already, look at the air bubbling out of them. So one reason that pickling takes so long normally is because you're trying to replace all of the liquid and air that's in the cucumber with the brine vinegar pickling solution. And that can take a while because it has to naturally diffuse into there. And especially when there's air in the cucumber, that air has to diffuse out through the liquid, which takes a while, and then that liquid has to replace it. While well, using a vacuum chamber, we can make that exchange go much faster. Let me show you. So we're already at a full vacuum now. So these bubbles, what we have going on here is we have the oxygen coming out of solution. We also have the air coming out of the cucumbers. And then we also have boiling happening. So the water is beginning to boil at this low pressure. Now the goal here is to get all of the air out of these cucumbers that we can possibly get. So I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes. Okay, now here's the interesting part. So I'm gonna turn off my vacuum pump. Let's let in the air and watch what happens. Three, two, one. So do you see how dark they got? Look at that. So that's the vinegar, that's the brine vinegar solution just diffusing into them. Look how dark it got. So that instantly pickled them. That is awesome. <laughs> Okay, let's give them a taste now. So look at that, look how it made a perfect pickle now. In a matter of minutes. Okay, the moment of truth here. That's a good pickle. Still very crunchy. Wow, these are awesome. The instant pickle. Okay, these are actually so good, I'm making another batch for my kids. Okay, let's let in the air. Three, two, one. Well, look at it absorb through it. Okay, so you can see the difference between these two. So this one that, w so this is one that wasn't instantly pickled and this is one that was. Look at that, it's so cool. Now before all my pickling connoisseurs get mad at me about this pickling process, I should mention that there are many different ways to pickle something. One way is through anaerobic fermentation. Now this method obviously doesn't use that. In anaerobic fermentation or natural pickling, what it means is that you use bacteria in there to generate acid that then is used to pickle whatever you're pickling. Now this process takes a lot longer because that bacteria has to grow, produce the acid, and then pickle whatever it is you're pickling. What this method do is basically just get the liquid that was outside of the cucumber inside the cucumber, and then it can diffuse in there and replace whatever other liquid was in the cucumber as well. Now this process does actually sterilize it. One of the benefits of pickling something is that it can last a long time. 
And the reason it lasts a long time is because you drop the pH inside and also because you're using a brine solution so it's really salty. So only a specific type of good bacteria can live in there and not really bad bacteria. So this pickling process still does preserve it and things will last longer when they're pickled with this method as well. Well, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video's out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.